folks, Ariel over here at Fineth, and nope, this is not old footage you're watching. This is what the weather is doing right now. It's been snowing off and on all day, and of course, as always, the moisture is wonderfully needed. It was actually raining yesterday evening when I went to bed and changed to snow sometime in the night, and so now the ground is partially white again with big fat flakes falling, and it, uh, Kind of looks like a Christmas card if there wasn't green sprouts sticking through again. But in addition to all that, this really exciting thing happened yesterday. I had to be gone for part of the day for a job, and when I came home, I found this. So that is our hen Blackie. The one beside her here is Butterscotch. You can see how Butterscotch is not very poofy looking, but Blackie is. I was pretty sure the second I walked in the door and saw her, even though often when I walk in the door, there's usually one or more hens in, in a box somewhere laying an egg. I was pretty sure the second I saw her, she had decided to go broody, which means that she at least currently appears to be planning to hatch some baby chickens out. So that is really exciting. I'd actually just sat down the other day and had a little chat with the hens about uh, that it was probably time in the spring now that one or two of our three of them could go broody. And two days later, this is exactly what she's doing. So, um, that's very exciting, and we're going to uh, keep recording what happens. I'm not sure exactly how many eggs she's sitting on right now, because she doesn't want to move, and I don't want to disturb her. But hopefully, one of these days, we're going to have some new little baby Icelandics running around here, and we're going to document the journey in between for any of you guys who have never gotten to see that happen. And now I just have to keep myself from disturbing her by racing out to check on her on her like every five minutes all day for the next three weeks till they could even reasonably start hatching because that's what I'm tempted to do. So check back and we'll see if we can create a little Broody Hen Adventure Chronicles series here to uh, cover what happens. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.